What are the biggest mistakes you think you, you've made since you sold your company? I had too much of a bond position. Um, mm-hmm. I can tell you that straight up. Uh, everyone said buy bonds. Whether I did it wrong, I can't tell you, Anastasia, but that was probably my worst and re- worst performing part of my portfolio without fail. Uh, fortunately, it wasn't. Yeah, I don't. Again, I number of things. Um, I think uh, all the investing su- investing side as well. Um, never really invested as much in real estate as um, I think. I don't know. We could have, should have, would have, or what have you. Um, for a number of reasons, n- no good reasons. Maybe time. Maybe what have you. But you know, I think the the zero interest in rate environment that um, really the world lived through, especially the U.S. Um, is is rarely going to be back. It, it was nearly a once in a lifetime. We might see that again in the future. So taking advantage of those kinds of good debt opportunities um, are are rare in one's life. But it's also early in my post exit career. So um, mm-hmm. it and debt is such a foreign concept, at least for us growing up as well. It's hard to really latch on the, the idea of good debt. Um, I think other than that. I, again, health will always be there, and we're seeing it again today. I think there's never a good time to not invest in your health. It was never a good, if I said that right. So even to this day, how do you think about really incorporating health? You know, I did do, I was very proud of myself. I did invest um, in Boston. There's a really big uh, cancer awareness bike ride that I participated in. It was a, I did the 50-mile version of what's called the Pan Mass Challenge a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just signed up again. This is three years later to do it again. So kind of forcing you to kind of do that riding mm-hmm. and things like that. Um, I'd say the other thing, usually as a founder, I was terrible at kind of investing in health because you're kind of investing in really every other part of the business and the life and things like that. The other thing I would tell a post-exit founder is really do spend that more time on health. It's, it's yeah. rare to have, and especially you do open up time and I, I say it, I preach it, I don't do it. So it's easy for me to say it, but um, I'd say that's probably one of the areas I continue to wish I'd do more. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree with you. I actually think it's the very first thing that an exit founder should do. 